Hey, what's happening, guys? My name is Vaid Nagpal, and you're on Aigyan. And uh, the month of November has just begun, but it's begun with a bunch of exciting new things happening. So there's news about WhatsApp. There are a bunch of games uh, that have announced a couple of things. GTA is going to get first-person mode. Call of Duty came out, the next edition, which everyone's really excited about. Uh, there's a bunch of new stuff, exciting stuff happening in the auto sector. A uh, few companies are failing crash tests, which is not good. And a new Rolls Royce is coming out. So let's see what happened this week in the world of technology. So WhatsApp Vice President in India, Neera Jaroda, has announced that because of the fact that a lot of people are not okay using their credit cards online and on their mobile phones, WhatsApp is going to be free for India or for free for people in India for the entirety of WhatsApp's existence. Well, as far as, as far as it's concerned, basically WhatsApp has become free. So earlier it was a dollar a year, unless you got it in the initial period where you paid a dollar to buy the app and then it was free for life. So if you paid to buy the app, it was free for life. But if you downloaded the application for free, then it was a dollar a year for subscription and then you had to pay everywhere. So people got really excited about this and this became big news. It was uh, trending all over uh, the interwebs. So it's essentially free now, so you can download WhatsApp and use it for free. Another thing happened on WhatsApp was that they started giving you red message notifications. Now for some people, this is a really uh, great thing because you get uh, information when somebody reads the message. But for a lot of people, it's not nice. Uh, so a lot of uh, women have been complaining, a lot of couples have been getting all worried. So what happens now is the f one tick means that the message has been uh, sent, uh, two ticks means that the message has been delivered, but when these ticks convert into blue ticks, that means that the message has been read. So this had some consequences for some people, but however, this has now uh, been made live and uh, it happened over the app, so there was no update as such for the application and it happened in your existing application, which is sneaky and they've given it and there's no ways around it for the time being. They might give you an option to turn it off, but as far as it's concerned for now, Everyone will know when you read your message. So Rockstar Games announced that they're going to give out a first-person mode for GTA 5. Uh, it's only going to come out for those who have this game on PlayStation 4 as well as Xbox One. But for those who bought the game on the PS3 as well as the Xbox 360, are not going to get this as soon as the other guys. While guys on PC are still going like, what? Where is GTA 5? When are we going to get to play it? So that is still going on for PC guys, but the other guys are getting updates like first person mode etc so that's fantastic call of duty advanced warfare just came out which is fantastic as well one of the best games most awaited games of this year i've just started playing it our review comes out later this week so stay tuned for that and uh, give us your feedback i think it's brilliantly well made i've been playing it on the playstation 4 i believe there's a graphics difference between the ps3 and the ps4 so i don't know uh, but on the ps4 it's fantastic so i'm enjoying it a lot what's your uh, feedback on the game let us know in the comment section below so the Nexus 6 uh, went up in terms of the price has gone up. We don't know when it's going to be available yet, but the price has gone up. And for this 32 gigabyte Nexus 6, you're going to be paying 44,000 rupees. Earlier, we reported that the price is going to be around the 42 triple line, around 43,000 uh, bucks. But it's actually a thousand rupees more as far as the Google Play Store is concerned. And that's what the price has been announced. Now, availability is set to be in November sometime. So mid-November is when we are expecting to see it go up for order but right now we're we not too sure when it's going to happen but it seems really expensive people have uh, been complaining about it but it's an excellent device even at that price it competes with uh, really high-end flagships and thanks to the quad hd display i think it'll do well not of course target the twenty thousand price bracket like the earlier nexuses would do uh, or nexi nexus i whatever you'd like to call them but uh, this nexus the nexus 6 is sure to make a dent in the flagship market, if not the budget market. So OnePlus One has finally announced plans for coming into India. 25,000 rupees for the 64 gigabyte is what you're gonna be paying for this mammoth device. Now we've already done a review. It's worthy of being called two because it's capable of doing what two phones can do. But the Sandstone Black variant, the best finishes on uh, any phone that I've seen till now, is gonna be available for 2499 uh, later this month or early next month. But it's definitely coming to India in the end of 2014 and not the early 2015. So you can stay tuned for it. They've already appointed a manager for India operations, so they are good to go soon enough. So stay tuned for that. So it's got a 6.6 liter V12 engine. It can do zero to 104.7 seconds. It weighs as much as a tank, but is as luxurious as a 
G6 aircraft. That's why the Rolls-Royce Ghost 2 was launched in India for 4.5 crores. So go sell everything that you have and live in this car because it's truly worth it. Uh, more information on this uh, on autogyan.com, so go definitely check it out. But it's one beautiful machine and uh, it's basically luxury on four wheels, but it's not, I don't know. Do you think it's worth the price? Let us know. So a couple of cars from India have failed the new car assessment program, uh, crash tests. Uh, they say that the safety standards are not met and people who are driving these vehicles are in serious uh, danger. The Datsun Go is one of them. And uh, the Suzuki Swift, which is one of the most popular cars in India, is actually the the least safe <laughs> hatchback available in our country. So you might want to think twice before you go ahead and buy this vehicle. We are awaiting more uh, information on the scenario, but they've released a full report along with test videos that show that these cars crumble very easily and they're not safe for drivers as well as passengers at all. So think twice because safety is really important. So the Datsun Go and the Swift are in the bottom lot, but there are other vehicles in this uh, which do not make the standards or do not meet the standards of uh, crash test safety. Finally, Xiaomi is working on a GoPro style camera for uh, the masses basically. Now, HTC made its attempt with the Re. Uh, mixed opinions about that. We really haven't fully reviewed the device, but it was a good sort of form factor and the way you hold the uh, device was pretty cool. And they also have like lots of attachments for it, but we're not too sure about the quality of images, etc. But Xiaomi is working on something similar which will now shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second, also 120 frames per second for 1080p, which is almost like the new GoPro 4. So what's different? The price is going to be 999 RMB. That roughly translates to about 10 to 13,000 rupees depending on the foreign exchange market price. But for 13,000 rupees, if you get a camera as good as the GoPro, uh, I think a lot of people are just going to buy it and keep it on their shelves to have it acquire all the dust that it will but it's going to be a great product for Xiaomi yet again and you can expect it to sell out in seconds on Flipkart when it does arrive in our country if and when it does arrive in our country. So that's all the news from this week but a lot is happening in the world of technology so constantly visit iGAN.in for all your latest info, latest updates, latest nonsense, things that you should, should not buy. And uh, my name is Bharat Nakwal. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Pinterest, and all the other social networks. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, and I'll see you in the next one.